Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel video tutorial we will learn about the mutators. So we will see everything about the mutators, example, theoretical things and all. So these are the three points that we are going to cover in this video majorly. So we will see what is the mutators in the Laravel. This is basically a theoretical part around 20 seconds. Then we will we have to make a controller, model and the router and then we will just write a code for mutator and we will see the practical example. So now the first question is that what is the mutators guys when you just uh, trying to save some data in the uh, database with the laravel then sometime maybe you just want to some modify it, some things like you just want to save the name and the name coming from the form or the request is anil but you just want to save it like this you just want to save the data in the title case all right and, uh, another example let's say you are just getting some price uh, let's say 1000 but you just want to add uh, some more values like you just want to add some gst or the taxes and all you just want to make 20 more or 200 more then how you can just add it so you can maybe just uh, uh, modifying the request uh, which is just coming from the api or the html form but there is a more easy way which is the mutator it can easily modify your data in the model just writing with a one function and you don't need to call it anywhere right so let's open my php my admin this one and here you can see that uh, in my youtube database i have a products table and let's uh, delete some entries first of all uh, let's now now you can see that uh, the data here you can see that are in the small case with the first letter you just want to make it capitalized when a new entry is coming all right and you just want to make up some price changes when that price is coming so now let, let's see that how we can do it with the mutators and it will it will loads and much more easier than the way to want to uh, modify the request so let's see so this is the basically uh, theoretical thing now let's make some uh, make a model controller and router for it so just write a command php artisan make controller and controller name will be like a product controller all right and our model name should be product because our table name is the products all right so minus minus model equal to product uh, this is the single command that will generate your model and the controller both thing all right just hit the enter now you can see that it will ask me that you just want to generate the model also yes i want to generate it and when to see it you will see that uh, this is your basically model which is present inside that folder and this is your controller and in this controller you actually got a lots of function but uh, if you just want you can just remove everything you can just uh, tick only one function like this right and just remove it what is the benefit of this uh, the single command it will just save your time with it will automatically you are uh, add your model inside the controller here you can see that on the top all right so now let's return here for a moment like return hello from product controller for a moment i just want to check that uh, is everything is working fine or not right so just right here a route here also uh, just make a route with the product and let's provide the path for the controller product controller at the rate index which is our function name right so now let's see is it working fine at least on this case mm -hmm. now you can see that this is working fine so now let's uh, write some code to save the data so for that let's just, just remove it and just write here uh, dollar product equal to new product let's make the instance of this class now this right here dollar product name can be like 
Samsung, then just make product category. And category can be like uh, on TV and product price. It can be let's say uh, 12,000. Perfect. And now let's move to save it. Product and save. In this case, we are use we are not using mutators. I am just going to show you is it working or not. Then, if this data is uh, working fine, then I will just add a mutator in a model. So let's uh, just return here so that if the one is there, that means uh, this data is saved. Right. So just return it. As you can see, that one is here. Now we have only Samsung TV one record. Now there should be two. All right, as you can see that there is a two record. So let's delete it uh, like this, right? And now the new record should be capital letter. Start with the capital letter and all right. So for that, let's come back to the model and just write here a function, just like simply like this. Uh, it can be public, public function, and we have to just use it set uh, name name why because you are using the name because the uh, column name is the name name attribute and there is a parameter and we can put this parameter as a value now just use return dollar this attribute In the attributes, just you can just write here like name, and in this name, just write here uc first and just provide here value, right? So now let's try to see what is going on here. Whenever I'm just going to let's first of all check the spell, yeah, everything is fine. Just save it now. This data is saved now. Let's check result now. You can see that we have a Samsung name with the title case all right so now with the same thing I just want to add some uh, test uh, tax with the price that how can I add this right so just define one more mutator here we can use as much as want mutators like set price and just write a price and here we can just simply write here uh, just remove it dollar value plus let's say 1000 right and now let's make a new entry this name is Apple category smartphone smart and price let's say uh, 50,000 all right so now let's refresh it now you can see that the new entry is saved here and let's try to refresh it now you can see that the apple is kept in the capital case and the price is also increased with the 1000 right due to the mutator so this is the uh, case that why we have to use the mutators if you are just want to um, just uh, the some requests are coming and we just want to modify these requests of putting some loops and maybe this is a little bit difficult but this is the more nicer thing all right uh, to use the uh, mutators and in the last video i just told you about talked about the uh, accessor and if you did not watch this video then you can get the link from the description box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care